what is up everyone welcome back to the channel uh today i just want to show you around show you the changes that have been occurring on the server um uh, first we have the group base we've actually expanded it a whole level up and made a few other changes um it doesn't look like it's quite done i think tyler wanted it a little bit higher than it actually was but yeah so basically it's just like a balcony I think this is mine, so I'll just take that back. But yeah, um, now there is a donation board, which is not very well marketed. But I would like to get our name right here so we can get some more of this spruce log. Because we are going to attempt to finish the um, this part the walkway to our castle and this includes what i've put down here with these lanterns and whatnot but if we are going to do that then oh i just wasted a ton of rockets what the heck we're going to need a lot more wood because we have stripped spruce logs on this side and stripped spruce logs on this side and then in the middle we have spruce planks so we're going to need a lot of wood we're going to need some more lanterns from our villagers and i just i am struggling to find a design that i like for the guard towers i think i'm just going to make it simple i don't know maybe a flat top or something something simple just so i can actually get something up there and then we'll maybe adjust it later maybe get tyler's help to help with the cone top or something i'm, I'm not really sure if you have any ideas just comment down below what you think um and then, yeah, so what I want to get done is this walkway, and then there's a few things that I need to show you. Okay, so we are now done laying down most of the wood. Um, I haven't really figured out what I want to do with this. I'm probably going to end up going like around it, around up the outside. But I kind of wanted to wait to do that until I had a wall design down for, well, obviously the walls. So I've laid down some dirt so I can pretty much reach any block at this point. So we basically have this area of dirt where we can just like we can here i'll go into my test world and i will show you what i mean okay so here's the design i had in mind um obviously this won't be here it'll be it'll be like one of these i was just testing out some different stuff but this is what it's going to look like it'll look like this all around where we have like a basic it mostly stone bricks down here and then it goes up to more of a stone and andesite finish with a few windows. And what I could do is I could actually break this block and I could rig something to like place TNT and drop it down. However, that'd be a horrible idea considering I don't want to blow up my base. Just a thought though. Um, so yeah, we have this and then we go up here and we'll have our walkways and stuff. Um, the inside, I can't decide if I want to like build up another whole wall, like right here, 
but like that's a lot of resources so I probably won't end up doing that but I don't know might just look weird on the inside but yeah so let's get back in and start working on some other stuff okay so before we get some work done on the base we're gonna do this pass it on box that I've been holding on to for way too long Okay, so we are here at the Pass It On box place, but I noticed we are missing a name. So we're going to go harvest some sugarcane somewhere, and we're going to put the last name in there. Okay, so I have taken the liberty upon myself to add everyone to the Pass It On box. So now we have everyone, and I've changed most of them to gamer tags. Um, Tyler is thinking about changing his gamer tags, so I didn't put his in there. And then Titus, I don't know how to spell his gamer tag. So I just put it like that. And then here is the pass it on box that I've come out with. As you can see, some shiny things, some not as shiny things, and then some shinier things. Um, but yeah, let's let's see who we pull. Just gonna make sure yeah, it looks like everyone's there. And we get nope. Okay, all right, well, that's probably good, because I think he probably needs this. Only problem is I have no idea where his house is. So I'm going to ask around and see if I can find out where that is located. Okay, so I think I have found it. It's this barn thing. Um, This place is weird. Okay, let's see. Interesting, interesting design. Um, yeah, this is definitely Drew. This is definitely Drew. Def, what? He's got some decent stuff just sitting around. Okay, well, we are going to. I would normally hide it, but I'm not sure I want to. Here, I'll just replace this block. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna go put this name back, and then we will get onto our base and hopefully get some solid work done. Okay, so we are back at the base now. Um, we actually did not end up getting a start on the outside wall out here. Um, but what we did end up doing is we ended up getting a villager curing system that Cherry Turd 910 helped us with. Um, so it's back here, I believe, yeah, it's set up here. We have our villager, and we have 
a zombie back there. I'm not sure if you can see him. You probably can. And then what he said is you just hit this once. He's, he gets zombified, hit it again, um, and then it separates them. And then this will dispense the slash of weakness, and then you have to get a golden golden apple. Um, unfortunately, he here. Let's go to bed. Whoa. Uh, unfortunately, he did say that we might have to do it multiple times because it didn't seem to work fully last time. So I'm not really sure. See, the deals are decreased, but not all the way. So we're probably going to have to do it multiple times, which sucks. But, like, some of these, like, not even giving me discounted paper trades. That's, like, the whole point of this thing. That's kind of that's kind of unfortunate, how they nerfed trades like this and stuff. But, yep, we got that done. Um, not sure what to do with that guy. That's the other one that I need to give protection for, because... Um, this was previously the Protection 4 Villager, and I believe this Villager just has a random. Okay, so the person who got zombified gives one. Interesting. I don't know, I might have to mess around with the mechanics of this whole breeding system for now. But, yeah, I'm not really sure what to do with that. But for now... We are going to head over. What? Oh my goodness, there's there's some zombies just chilling out here. I think what we're going to do to finish off this episode is start to get a good idea as to what we're going to do for our walls. Kind of like map out how many spaces we need. Maybe, maybe start doing some indents, like I'm going to have to do this. I don't know, we'll see. Okay, so I am now done with the little cutout tunnel things. And I put some lighting in there. Uh, it was either that or like one box in. More of like right there and there. Um, but I think I like this a little bit more. Obviously, we're probably going to add some more texture to it. But for now, I'm... I don't know. I, I, I think I like it. The only issue is... This, uh, the actual, like, gateway area sticks out an extra block. And I'm not, it, it's just, it doesn't go with these. I kind of wanted these to, like, like, reflect this, but just be a smaller version. But I'm not really, I'm not really feeling that since this is, like, a block out. So what we may have to end up doing is just putting this one block out more and then making an outline and seeing how that looks. However, then I would have a bunch of a bunch of like cliffs where mobs and other stuff could spawn. I don't know. You guys tell me what you think in the comments section below. Um, I'm really not sure what to do. Uh, in the next episode, we are going to tackle this the upper part. We're going to try and make it look like we did in our test world. Where it's more andesite and stone and not as much stone brick. Um, but for now, that, I think that's all we have time for today. Um, thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.